what is happening here is three in here of time here presenting you with some more hero craft. I'm here on the Wyvern of Time SMP. As you may remember from the previous episode, uh, we did blow up the Nether Hub, uh, spawning in seven Wither bosses. Um, we did it not legit. The reason we did it not legit was, of course, because the hub was built not legit long ago by the lousy MC Infinity, and it sucked, and we blew it up. And since then, which was actually uh, earlier today, well, it's midnight now, so I guess it was yesterday, we did that, blew the hub to smithereens, you guys saw I hid some TNT and things like that, and uh, yeah, and, ooh, what's that? That's new. Uh, so, uh, me and Jessica built this. It's pretty nice. We built this lava thing. We made the spawn center taller. Um, we're going to make our beacon shop there. Uh, basically, what's going on here is Matt's pretty unavailable. You guys are used to this being a cocom. It's probably going to become a solo more often than not now. This will give me chances to cocom with some of the other people on the server and have Jessica on and stuff like that. So. Uh, hopefully Matt will get freed up a little bit eventually, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys a good view of that again. It's pretty cool. I like him. Pretty proud of him. I would work pretty hard on that. He looks really good. Oh my gosh, he looks so good. Yeah, his tail does have another part back there, but just render distance and all. I think it's raining. Um, I would go through the portal and show you what's left of the nether, but... Uh, I'm afraid of where it will take me. No, let's just go see. There we go. Well, I have big things planned for this episode. I have Jolly Rancher in my mouth. So, I'm sorry if you hear me moving it around. I'm not chewing my tobacco. I'm, uh, I'm gonna kill the sheep. Well, oh, he's a party sheep. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> I don't know how the party sheep got up here. That's pretty bad. Yep, yeah, I'm super OCD. Can't, uh, keep my, uh, Jolly Rancher in one spot. I'm um, Hunger Games running, but I haven't played Hunger Games forever, so I don't know how huh? I'm doing that. Oh, because I was chasing the mortal earlier. Uh, somehow, in all the building this and clearing inventories for the event, I lost my stuff. So just before I recorded, I went and grabbed some baked potatoes. Uh, Jessica was it, and after the event, well, actually before the event, she killed me, and I was it after that. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about when I say it, uh, last week, we did the server event, uh, the Cupid Bow Off, I guess you can call it, which is pretty awesome. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's uh, episode 11, I believe. Uh, this is episode 13. And during that, uh, you can pause and look at this if you want. Uh, there's a server wide competition that will go from the optional event, start at one optional event, and end at the next one. Of course, the event coming up next week is the required event, which will be the build off. And that's a, a server hosted. The other one is uh, uh, rotated on who hosts it. But of course, I hosted it. Some people thought that was server hosted as well, but it was me hosting it, not the server. Which I realize it's kind of the same thing. But when I say server hosting it, I generally mean me, Jessica, and Matt. When it's just me, it's kind of just my thing. So, but normally I won't even host those. I was just doing it so that people could uh, see the example. So basically. Had to get rid of the nether doors just because we reset the nether. Because it was a piece of crap. And uh, here we have uh, the temporary nether buttons. We're actually planning on keeping these out here now. But I don't know if they'll be doors or if we'll keep them buttons. But either way, we'll do something cooler with them. So uh, let's go out here. I have some. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh yikes. Gotta yeah, fix that. I have some pretty, pretty cool things planned for today. Uh. Foremost, well, this is the pranking episode because uh, lots of people had pranked me and Matt, mainly uh, me, I guess, uh, because lots of them don't know Matt. So uh, what they had done is uh, one of them, Proctor, he put this obsidian and he did this the stairs and everything like that. And the reason he did it is because we had blown up his front yard and we didn't do anything bad in blowing it up. We did kill him, but besides that. Uh, not a whole lot of harm was done to him. So, uh, I'm going to prank him. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about putting a false block where you put like a redstone on it and you break it. And they don't know there's redstone on it. And then something funky happens. I don't know. Something cool like that, maybe. And then, uh, 
I'm thinking about maybe uh, Fluffy and Fuzzy. I want to prank them because they did the the treehouse thing with all the water. So I want to get a bunch of jungle uh, dark oak and spruce saplings. I don't have many, so I'll be buying some from Jessica and hunting for some this episode. But I'll probably cut most of that out. Uh, and I have axes ready for efficiency, and I'm breaking nothing special. I think I have another one. Originally, I was just going to build a tree. And then I tested it in a, a creative world to see if I could do this easily. And really, you can just spawn. You can just uh, bone meal in a bunch of trees on top of each other right now. And I thought it wouldn't work because I thought they had to have a certain amount of space. But I was wrong. And see, I have plenty of bones. This will be no problem. So I'm just going to make a huge tree because Fuzzy always calls me tree. There used to be another member, but we uh, he left. It, it was nothing bad. He just uh, we had come to an agreement that our age needed to be 16 and higher, uh, with no exceptions. And we had a few two people who were below that rule, and they were fairly new to the server, so we we just had to ask them to leave. But we're all still on good terms. So, and then there's a third thing, and it's not really a prank against someone who pranked me so much, but PQ Caleb PQ. Uh, one day we were on. And I think he had just gotten a a Fortune 2 or a Fortune 3 tick, and he was out mining with it, and he fell in some lava, and he got out of the lava, and then he burnt to a Chris, and he had this pick with him, so he was super worried that he was going to die and lose the pick, but while he was on fire, he actually threw the pick with Y and just threw it away from, well, I don't know, throw is on Y for me, I don't know what it normally is, but uh, I think it's R, uh, or Q, I don't know. But he just clicked throw and threw it away. <laughs> and he said it was the one time that he didn't bring water on his trip. And uh, as you can see, Proctor really messed this place up. So I really want to get Proctor good. Oh, PQ did do one thing. He surrounded my portal in sand, which would be good to get. It was actually good because the beacon shop, we're going to need glass for that. But uh, we're going to get him back anyway. I have a pretty cool plan for him involving a fire resistance thing. I had 30 levels. Uh, and basically what I did with those was go and enchant a book, and unfortunately I got Fire Resistance 4, but that's going to make for a good uh, prank line. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to go show you before I start getting these saplings a little bit of what I've been doing lately. Alright, so here's a little bit of what's been going on. I'm sort of in a secret area right now. Not many people know about this on the server, except for me and Matt. And I think Jessica's probably come over here a couple times. Uh, this place I'm at is pretty far away from either one of the homes. And uh, as far as I know, no one should know where it's at. But uh, we built a few secret things here. And uh, you'll see what they are. Uh, they're, they're pretty cool, but none of them are meant to be like super effective. They're meant to be like a quick couple, <laughs> you know, like here's a simple XP farm. It's meant to be a quick couple level. I'm using my axe, which is stupid, I know. I'm sorry. But I'm just going to show you. You know, there, a quick level, okay? I'm out of here. See it. There's my swords. Out of here. Bye. Peace. That was fun. So I go out. This is a simple, simple XP farm. Extremely rudimentary. I'll show you how it works. M many of you have probably already guessed. It's not a spawner, even. It's just this simple set. You have a villager in glass. You make part of it shorter. Uh, the zombies like to come, go to the easiest pathway to get to him. They think, hey, this is easy. We'll get to him this way. But he's inaccessible. So uh, they just go down the water, down here, fall, and they're one hit. Oh, okay. And then, uh, let's see, who's, who's online? Just me. Oh, PQ. All right. So uh, there is uh, over there a beacon. You'll see that in a second. Uh, that's from when we saved uh, Fluffy and Fuzzy from the wither. We took their wither star. Another sort, whatever it's called. And uh, there was a farm here to supply us while we built stuff, but it's just slowly over time become nothing. Uh, this is some items we've had, a ton of cobble. That's how part of how we made that. This is some stuff I got moved at some point. Some other stuff, uh, nothing I guess. Uh, this is some of the weakness potions we used for what I'm sure you can guess over here. My mouse is dying, I guess. Uh, this is the iron farm. Uh, it's not, again, like the zombie thing, you'll get, in the zombie thing, it'll take you a while to get 10 levels, guys. It's not meant to be fast. It, it's meant to be like if you're mining and you come back, like, uh, you come back from mining and you have like 29 levels, you can sit there for like 5 minutes and get the last level if you want. So, uh, 
what I have up here now is like a super inefficient iron farm. Okay, it's the most basic iron farm. I'm pretty sure there's probably some more basic ones. But basically, what it is is you get these cups. You just put a villager in it, and uh, it's pretty easy. Me and Matt, we worked on it together. It took us no more than two hours, and we just got bored. Jessica was working on some spawn center stuff. And I was like, hey, let's go do something, something different. And I've never made an iron farm before, so I was like, we'll make this. But I don't want to make a super efficient one because I don't like this kind of stuff, it feels so cheaty. So I made an XP farm, but I don't really use it. Uh, I think I've used it twice, and I think all I've done with that is repair a few things. But uh, I only used it, honestly, to see if it works. I'd rather mine or or fight real things to get my levels. And uh, lots of my levels I've gotten actually from Wither Skeleton hunting in order for my business to bloom. So basically how this works is you have these villagers, they make an iron golem. Uh, he gets flushed down the toilet of destiny. Goes down here. I don't know why that's not a roof anymore. That's got to be fixed. I don't know if that'll affect it at all, but he goes down here, gets snuffed out by the lava, and in here, woo, lava or uh, iron. And uh, yeah, so it's supposed to produce approximately a stack every two hours, but it, it doesn't always, and sometimes it produces a little bit more. But I've gotten a good amount of iron from it now, and it's actually been pretty good for a, a e extremely easy iron farm. It's been really nice. And so down here, the setup basically is I have the iron farm up there, and down here is my super secret mines. And uh, I've been strip mining and getting a lot of stuff. You'll see. I'll show you around, so uh, you know it's all all for reals. And uh, over there, uh, the XP farm. Sometimes when I go up, there will be 20 zombies, and I'll go ahead and kill them. And but but by that point, I've already got a lot of levels from mining, so it doesn't do much. And in the iron golem chest, it might be close to a stack. I have a garbage can up here because my pockets were getting too full. Here's everything I've mined: uh, tons of diamonds, tons of redstone. I had a lot more iron, but you're gonna about, oh I put that. Uh, but you're gonna see what happened to all my excess iron in a second. I did put well. I guess you already know. You saw it. The beacon. But uh, like some coal, gold, you know, all that stuff. Uh, also, I have my mob drops I've gotten in here, including a disc. I did find a dungeon at one point. I might play some music down here. A ton of cobblestone, mossy cobble, stone stairs. Uh, we're, we're debating going to 1.8, speaking of mossy cobble. That'd be fun. Or uh, iron snapshotting. But we're thinking about waiting until 1.8 comes out officially to go to snapshot. Just because I'll be in Africa. And while I'm gone, Jessica's going to be running things. And since snapshot servers can be glitchy and problematic, I don't want her to have to deal with that. And here's my dirt and gravel and some other things I use. Ooh, I should take a sword while I'm here. I'll take the iron one. I didn't. Ooh, oh, this must have been... Oh, this is what happened to my my stuff. Okay, let's take that. Let's take that. And then let's put those in there. And that, that, that. Okay, looks good. Oh, let's take those bones. We'll need those. All right, so um, I'm not gonna show you all of it, but there's my anvil, uh, my ender chest. Lots of my levels for mining have been used to just uh, repair things. I haven't used this much, but I use this a lot, and I've had to repair. I haven't had to repair this at all, though, which is weird. I'm working on getting a Fortune Two book so I can upgrade this to Fortune Three, and then uh, this is a pick I'm working on for Jessica for when she works on the hub. And this is my setup, and as you can see, these halls go pretty far down. This hall alone goes pretty far. I'm not going to go down it completely, but here's my beacon. If anybody does end up buying that, I will uh, rip it up and give it to them. But the beacon shop is still yet to come a few episodes from now. Uh, also, I have the three wither skulls in here. What happened is I had two wither skulls because I've been farming wither skulls in, in lots of my free time, in addition to mining. For me, mining is just therapeutic, so I just do it anytime I'm bored or or you know school is too rough and I just need to do something to come relax I love to come on Minecraft and strip mine. Strip mining is not like my favorite thing on Minecraft but it's kind of what got me into it to be honest. The strip mining is just therapeutic to me. It's weird but it's extremely relaxing to me and there's just nothing better. Cave diving is fun but too much un unexpected stuff and it's stressful and cave mining is just therapeutic and relaxing. I, I really, if you've had a rough day, if it's been a rough day just come and cave mine. I, I've been having a few rough days lately, so uh, in multiple ways, and so I've just been coming down and uh, strip mining, and it's been been nice. And uh, I've been getting lots of ores, but in other free time, I would get my wither skulls, 
the wither farming. And after we had saved her from the wither skulls, after or after we saved her from the wither boss, I decided to go and this is my uh, wither skeleton slaying sword right here. Smite five, looting three, I'm breaking three, three nice. After that, I decided to uh, go to wither skeleton farming and see if I could get one more, and uh, I did. And uh, when I had first started, uh, my f to go get the first one, it was the third wither I killed. The second one, it was like on a journey, it was the fifth one I killed, and then this one, it was the first one I killed. Like as soon as I left, I went and killed one and got it. It was pretty awesome. So I've learned to only kill a few skeletons and then give up and come back another day. That looks really weird. What is that? What in the world? What is happening? Oh, oh, it's night. All right, well, I'll probably come back uh, when it's night time and we'll start uh, getting these pranks going. Well, guys, remember this place. This is my humble abode. Uh, we haven't done much besides the path. I'd like to wait till Matt gets some more time to finish this path. Uh, we'll probably not show you any more of building the actual path, except like this, and then we'll show you in product when we actually get to building the house. Here, Elias gave me a present, so I'm not gonna prank him because he was nice. And uh, the main thing I want to do is get jungle saplings, but I. The other day I was looking for some, and I, usually I'm not looking for some, but I was trying to get some, uh, and uh, it was taking a long time, I gotta tell you. So I'm, I'm convinced that I fixed the subsidian mess that they did to me. Ugh. Terrible woman. And that's why I'm pranking them hard today. I wanted to do jungle wood because jungle wood is ugly as death, guys. It is just disgusting. Jungle wood is the nastiest thing to me, and I don't know why I'm building my home so close to it, but it's alright. I want to do jungle wood mainly. But it's just, it takes so long to get saplings. And uh, I'm going to try to get as many as I can. But to make the big trees, you have to have four. And uh, if all the thing isn't big trees, that's okay. But I want to make this pretty crazy. So uh, I'm going to be looking for saplings. I'm going to also go to, luckily, me and Matt cut down a lot of trees. So we have that. I may just have to cut down a tree. That may make it easier. But now I'll go deeper and cut down trees. And uh, so I'll get some saplings. I'll also go to Jessica's place probably and buy some from hers. And uh, I'll be cutting down some trees, maybe, but uh, maybe just break. I think if you cut down the trees and they come out naturally, it's better. So uh, hopefully I'll get some saplings, and I'll see you guys again when I do. Hmm. So I am still cutting down trees, and I've decided that whoever's idea this was is completely stupid. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't cut down that much. But upon cutting down some of these, I realize these little like lowland bushes are oak leaves, and they give you oak saplings, which is stupid. The thing is, I want the ratio of jungle to any other wood to be high because jungle is nasty looking, and spruce is just awesome. Looking. Spruce is probably the best tree. Dark oak is also good looking, and the only saplings I know that either I or Jessica have are dark oak and spruce. She might have some jungle. I'm hoping she does, but I don't know this is getting strenuous, but I'm basically just cutting out the cores of trees, and I'm trying to let these fall by themselves if I can, so uh, I'm going to just keep at it, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be done soon, and uh, I think when I am done with this, or at least when I give up, I'll see you in the spawn village. So I just struck a deal with uh, PQ to buy some of the saplings, he said, 14 acacia and 3 oak. I, I realize uh, acacia is also <laughs> extremely ugly. And I, I was thinking I want to build the four wide trees, but really those only need to be the base. I can make like branches off of it, uh, be the other ones. That spawns. Uh, also, I found a new tree destroying method. Uh, a creeper came up to me, blew up, and I got like all of that. What well, that? Well, half of that, I'd say. And then the apples and uh, some oak wood. But it wasn't in, uh, even a jungle. Uh, so, uh,. Yep, I've gotten a little bit, enough to make a couple of big trees. Uh, I, I had my mindset on just doing jungle, but now I thought about it, if it's just a ton of trees, it'll just be the nastiest, ugliest looking tree ever. So uh, that's, that's what I'm going to do, I think. So I'm going go to go to spawn, and I'm going to see how many saplings I can get together. I'm going to go look at some of the trees I cut down and see if they've dropped anything. And I'll see you guys at spawn with PQ.